that's a bit cool. Could have been an old, I don't know, I'm not really sure about all the terminology, maybe a pub loaf. This looks got a lump in the middle, a tin around the outside, and some concrete it looks like as well. Very cool. There's no signs or anything around here, but I know you're not meant to dig anywhere near puddlers. So there's diggings and stuff everywhere else. Um, the camping ground has like a fence around it, so I moved well away from that um, to uh, start having a bit of a go. Found some bullet shells and things so far, but nothing exciting. But um, after seeing these, I'll uh, I'll head further up the hill, maybe somewhere up there. Plenty of muller keeps around. Just watch out for the mine shafts and keep having a go. We'll see how we go. Thanks a lot. Actually went back, back to camp, picked up the knocks, and uh, came back here. Just finding a heap of pottery. It's this huge clearing here. All the mile heaps and that are on the other side. But then there's like, you clearly see someone's put some rocks around the bottom of this tree. I don't know what sort of tree it is, but it's, it's not a native gum or anything like that. It's like some sort of fruit tree. It's obviously taken a tumble at some stage and started to regrow again. But yeah, there's just heaps of heaps of bits of pottery like this. Just sitting around. It's thick. Pretty old looking. Picked up some of it. I can't pick it all up, but there's absolutely tons of it. I don't know whether anyone else with an SDC can help me out. So I sent it back to Miner's Den and they said it was fine, but you can see here, I just dug out this huge lump of iron, steel, whatever it is. There's nothing in this pile, but watch what happens. When I hit it side on, getting a signal, there's nothing in there. I also get it. Uh, there's a smaller one. I'm gonna hit these trees, these bushes. I'll bump into them. Is that, uh, is that pretty standard? I don't know, I'm used to my Equinox, and this is an issue I'm really familiar with. But I've noticed, particularly with the green shrubby sort of bushes like these ones. If I hit it. Sets the detector off. I don't know how you're supposed to find gold if every time you hit a shrub and you get a signal. Um, if anyone's got any info for us that'd be fantastic. Alright thanks a lot. I'd come over with the equinox underneath this huge tree, some sort of pine. Massive. Just got that solid 22. 21, 22. And got a coin spill. Oh, $1 and $2. And that is weird as. A shell. That is odd. Cool. I'll take it though.
Don't skip. It's the last day out here. I haven't had any luck on the gold, so I did some research last night and worked out where the old town was. It worked out that once upon a time, this was all the homesteads along here, this road. All the way along here was all homesteads. Just on this side of the street, there's a couple down the other side, but I thought I'd come here and pull out the Equinox and have a bit more of a go and see if I could find something with even the three dollars and uh, shells and pellets and things that I've found. I've just got a nice solid uh, uh, 14 15 signal, which I normally wouldn't really bother digging, but it was a very solid signal, so I thought I'd give it a go. And bam, looks like an old spoon that's been folded over. A bit of green tinge there. I'm not sure if it's copper. I'm not sure I'll clean that up when I get home though, but. Uh, just like that. It's my best find for the weekend. That was the th 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 two and a half days that I'll be up here. Alright, we'll keep going. Looks like an old button. So, 13, 14. Yeah. Cool. It's an old harmonica reed. And I'm in the right spot. <laughs> Just getting some old stuff. Be uh, great to find some more silverware or a coin or something. But uh, the relics are pretty cool, so happy I'm pulling out something other than lead shot at the moment. <laughs> so I might give give the gold one more go when I finish up here. But uh, yeah, this is this is probably more exciting than the gold at the moment. All right, we'll keep going. This was just on the surface. Funny, I just found a Vegemite jar like two weeks ago. I've never seen one before like this. And uh, I'm like, that looks like a Vegemite jar. I'm sure enough, <laughs> come over and I don't know whether you can read it. It's probably a bit hard to get my glove in the background to get it to focus. Vegemite. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, we'll keep going. 24. It's just flicked out. Oh, grand here. That looks like a belt buckle. It's a bit rough shape, but... How cool is that? <laughs> Very cool. Right, keep going. 